Today we're looking at some 1959 Jefferson nickels that are worth more than five cents. So we'll show you what can give your nickel some value, what you should be looking for, and what some of these coins sold for at auction. So welcome back to Caps Collectibles. I hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. If you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and collectible videos here on the channel. As always, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off first here with the 1959 D Mint Mark. Now, this coin only sold for around $15. Uh, it's not really that valuable, but it does have a cud. It has an obverse die break. Uh, so you'll see that there on the bottom of the coin there, that extra little metal there. Now, if you have one that has a lot or it's big or it's taken up a large portion of the coin, those could be valuable. But in this case, it's really so small, uh, you know, it's not really worth much. So 15 bucks for that one. Now here's a 1959D Mint Mark that sold for over $1,600. Now the Mint Mark will be here on the reverse of the coin to the right of the building if you guys are new to coins or coin collecting. Now the reason that this coin sold for so much money is because it is graded by a coin grading company PCGS at a Mint State 66 with full steps. So the coin grading scale only goes up to 70. 70 is the best condition you can get. This is at a 66. So if there's not many of these out here at a Mint State 66, that's what's going to make it valuable. You know, if there's thousands of them at a Mint State 65, just one grade lower, those are going to be very common, you know, and not valuable. But when you get into, you know, high grades and, uh, you know, grade population, and there's only a few of them that exist in a certain condition, then they're going to have some value. Now, here is a Mint Error coin. This 1959 Jefferson Nickel has been double struck. A uh, very obvious type of mint error. You don't need a coin microscope or anything to see this. This coin ended up selling for over $125. Here's a different example of a double strike taking place on a 1959 nickel. And this coin ended up selling for over $125 as well. Graded by NGC at a mint state 64. Now this next coin here is the same as the high graded D mint mark that we looked at. However, this is the 1959 no mint mark. So it's graded at a mint state 67. And this coin sold for around $6,000. Can't beat that. Now here's a 1959, not in the best condition. It's graded at an AU58. However, it's valuable because this nickel design was actually struck onto a silver dime planchet. So a Roosevelt dime planchet, it was a silver dime. Uh, that's why this coin sold for over $630. Man, that's just an awesome one there. Now we looked at that coin that was struck on a dime. Here's an example of a 1959 Jefferson nickel design that was struck onto a one cent planchet. So a penny planchet. It is graded by PCGS at a Mint State 64 red. And this coin sold for around $1,000. Now here's the 1959 Jefferson nickel proof coin. So there's a difference between business strike coins and proof coins. Proof coins are really not intended for circulation. They're intended to sell, you know, to collectors and things uh, of that nature. But business strike coins are the typical, you know, everyday pocket change uh, coins, you know, that we find, uh, you know, from the bank or in pocket change, right? So this is the proof coin and it's almost graded at a perfect grade. It's graded at a proof 69 deep cameo. And that's why this coin sold for around $7,000. Now here's a 1959D mint mark that sold for over $525 and it's because it has a staple struck into the reverse. So this actually happened when the coin was being produced. You'll see that staple there struck into the reverse of the Jefferson nickel and it's only graded at a very fine 30. So pretty low grade, you know, compared to the coins that we're looking at in this video. So like I said, over $525 for that nickel. Now here's another example of a 1959 nickel that has a staple struck into the coin. However, this is taking place on the front of the coin, the obverse of the coin. So you'll see that staple there on the right side. You'll actually see it wrap around the date there, which is really unique. This coin sold for over $545. Now here's a 1959 D mint mark. It only sold for a little over $70. The coin has been struck through fragments. It's graded by Annex at a Met State 65. You'll see that there in Jefferson's hair. And like I say, this coin sold for a little over 70 bucks. 
Uh, we'll also see that here on the reverse of this coin. So always be on the lookout for mint errors like that. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.